Welcome back to Amazon FBA Sourcing Success Guide. And in this video, we're going to be talking about storage unit auctions and charity and thrift stores. Now, often in your local area, you will find that there are storage unit auctions that you can attend where you can pick up, again, some things that are going to be rare and hard to find. The only problem is that in this case, you're not going to know up front what you're going to find in the storage auction. You probably want to work with a partner in order to have an alternative way of liquidating the merchandise because typically you're going to find things that people put in storage that they wanted to have there and for whatever reason they were unable to pay their bill and so the storage unit literally auctions off their items. Now all the items that you're going to be getting from that location is probably not going to be appropriate for you to do with Amazon FBA because not everything is going to be shippable as, as we've talked about before. However, you can have other ways of being able to liquidate that merchandise. So you probably want to work with a partner if, you, if you're not necessarily uh, a, a, a liquidator where you can get rid of that kind of goods. You can though typically take what you probably weren't going to be able to do on Amazon FBA and do it on uh, eBay, especially if you're willing to do some of the shipping yourself. Now, you want to think about the fact that because this, uh, this merchandise is going to be rare and hard to find, you're really looking to have the kind of, of merchandise that's going to be high price if you're going to do it on Amazon FBA because, again, part of your cost in this in, doing ch in storage unit auctions is going to be that you're going to have to liquidate the other items and make them sellable. So in this particular case, only give consideration to those things that you're going to be selling on Amazon. Everything else you probably want to put in the hands of someone who can actually liquidate the merchandise. Now the best way to find out about these kinds of auctions is to do a wildcat search in your local area. Simply look for your local area and storage auction. You can often find the storage auction and if you can't find them that way, um, you can start with individual storage auctions contact them by email or by telephone and then find out when their auctions are. Just about every storage auction that is available in your local area, they're probably going to be attached to one of the storage units that you're going to be able to find. Now what one trend is for retailers now to pass on their unsaleable merchandise to thrift and charity stores such as Goodwill and the Salvation Army. And although these two stores have well-known brand names, many local areas have their own charity-based stores. Now this means that though the stores are considered to be second-hand stores, some of the items in those stores are new in the box and or have tags or stickers. So they're literally brand new. They're actually placed there by larger retailers. So you're going to be able to go into these locations and sometimes you'll be able to get a great deal on merchandise that you would not have been able to source any cheaper than if you'd gotten it or if you'd picked it up from a wholesaler yourself. So sourcing items from charity stores can be lucrative if you know what you're looking for typically if you have a niche and if you understand their patterns and that's one of the strategies that successful FBA sellers sellers recommend get to know their merchandise and their patterns get to understand where it is that they're getting their merchandise get to know when their shipments come in so when you are starting to talk about these charity stores they tend to have shipments come in on certain days. You probably want to time your uh, time your, your your sourcing for those days. Time your sourcing for those times of days when you know they're going to be getting their quote trucks or shipments. And some of these uh, locations have have stores that actually have half price days. So you want to be aware of each and every one of these charity stores policies and the way that they do business. Again, some FBA sellers find this to be very lucrative to get uh, get get merchandise from these charity stores and then to place them on Amazon FBA. OK, so with that, thanks. And I will see you in another video.